What's up guys, John here, and today I'm at the Motor Enclave here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Uh, I bought a, a garage here so I can keep my cars, it's a motorist community. The cool thing about the Enclave here is that they have a track where you can race your cars on, built by one of the top-notch F1 designers, right? This guy has created amazing tracks, and they put an amazing track out here with 11 loops. So if you don't know what that is, you can look it up after that, or you can see the video and I'll explain it more later. But we're gonna do our driving orientation today. We're gonna do an off-road course, because they have an off-road track too, so that's awesome too. So if you're a Jeep person, off-road person, you got one of the buggies, Can-Ams, you can do that too. But if you got your exotic or your race car and you're a member of this community, then you can go on the track and race it. But they want to make sure that safety's first. And that's the key thing here. That's what this orientation is all about. To make sure that people are able to drive their vehicles without putting themselves or other people at risk of getting injury. And that's top notch. That's what the way it should be. So at that point, we're gonna get in these cars. The second one is gonna be in this Cadillac Blackwing. We're gonna race around here as fast as we can and hopefully not hit any cones. After that, we're gonna hit the F1 track and we're gonna go around and drive these cars. They have cars set for us, so I don't get to drive my car today or my cars, but I will in the future. Uh, but we're gonna take the cars for a spin. They're gonna show us they got a professional driver here. We're gonna follow him around and then we're gonna go for a lap by ourselves. Um, and they're gonna take us on a lap so we can see how they drive in the car. So come with me, we're gonna get the helmet, we're gonna get the little net thing that goes on my face, little mask, and get professional here and get ready to learn how to drive these cars, how they want us to drive. I got some driving experience of my own, but hey listen, you can always learn more, so stay tuned. You guys are gonna see this experience firsthand. Off road here, like right. enclave, off road course. Let's go. Okay. So guys, we just got off of the Can-Am Defender. We went through the jungle trails, they call it, and some of the off-road courses in here at the Motor Enclave, which we're gonna get the experience. So they were giving us like, the orientation of the course and kind of what's going on there, and so you can get the lay of the land. Really cool, huh, Sharif? Super dope. I like driving. This is like my outlet, so I'm very excited to be here today. So um, after this, I think we are going to go and we're going to start doing this course right here with this Cadillac Blackwing. So this is a bad boy, this thing's fast. I like the color too. So obviously me and Sharice both did our test drives with the Cadillac, Blackwing. Um, 
my thoughts on the drive. You know, obviously the car is pretty quick for a, you know, a street car or whatever, but it's, you know, it's more of like, to me, it's more of like a luxury car. So it's a lot heavier than I think some of our cars are. And then the other thing about it was, was, you know, it's not, it's not down low, it's up high. And then obviously aerodynamics, more wind is bringing it up. So when you're taking the turns to go around, you feel the front end kind of lift up a little bit. And then you got to like punch it to go around and the back end is swinging around. So yeah, I think it was cool. It was definitely good. I mean, listen, if you're going to be driving a regular car on the street, you better be able to perform in one of these cars, not just a race car. What do you think? I mean, I thought it was awesome. I just like, I really like driving. You'll hear me say that in every video. Um, but this is super cool because you actually get to legally speed, which is amazing. Um, the guy in the car was super cool. He's giving me a little tips going around there. But, you know, staying within the cones, best thing I can say is ride everything to the left, stay in the blue, so you don't have anything on the white and get some uh, points deducted. But I will say I kept up with the boys. She did really good. She did really good. I'm proud of her. So more driving experiences to come. So let's go to our next one. I think we're going to go on the track now and, and get some other cars and race them around. I can't wait. Let's go. Rock and roll. About to get in this M3. Rock it. Let's go. Listen guys, I just uh, drove the car around the track, did the whole track deal. Now it's Teresa's turn. It was definitely a blast. I can't wait to start opening these things up out here. Cadillac, let's go Blackwing. Let's go around and see what's going on here. All right guys, so that's it. That was the whole driving experience here at the Motor Enclave for our orientation for us to be track ready. Can't wait, now we can start bringing our own cars out here and get on the track. What do you think about that? I'm definitely ready to bring the, the vehicles out here and go boom. It was an awesome experience today uh, from the instructors to even some of the people that were in our orientation class that have uh, garages here, really cool people. Really interesting people too as well. I've met some cool people here. So we'll see you back here at the Motor Enclave with Tight Medical Center representing like you've never seen before. See you then. Good morning, this is Ed Bojacki, owner of Gold's Gym, Clearwater in Tampa. I've been coming to Titan Medical Center for over 10 years. John and Charisse have been taking care of me for as long as I can remember. My energy levels are really high, I sleep better, I'm stronger than the gym and ever, I'm 52 years old, and I have plenty of energy, plenty of strength, and I'm always on the go, I'm never tired. I get a ton of people coming to me telling me, how do you have so much energy, how are you not tired during the day? And I try to explain to them that you have to eat properly, take your Titan Medical Therapies. I would highly recommend Titan Medical Center to anybody who wants to improve their life, health and fitness, and who wants to become the best version of themselves. If you're interested in becoming a Titan Medical patient, call or text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. 
Hi everyone, I'm Shin Hill. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. I wanted to talk to you today about one of my personal favorite therapies, Titan's Hair Health Capsules. In these capsules, they're gonna consist of some wonderful ingredients to help with your hair health. So these are gonna include biotin, nettle, grapeseed extract, saw palmetto, L-histidine, and acetylcysteine. So together, these components are going to help with preventing hair loss by blocking the DHT, help with reducing scalp inflammation, and overall hair health and shine. If you're interested in Titan's Hair Health Capsules, give us a call today, 727-389-3220, or visit titanmedicalcenter.com. I'm at Titan Medical Center today getting my blood work done. I recommend everyone to get your blood work done, whether you're into fitness or not. It's always good to see what's going on inside of your body. I come to Titan Medical Center because it's professional and it's just great service every time. If you're in the Tampa area, come check us out at Channel Side, or if you're out of state, we service nationwide. So come check us out at Titan Medical Center. Or text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. We want to help you feel, look, and perform at your optimal levels. Oh yeah, doing my unboxing here. So um, obviously, listen, you guys have heard about peptides and peptides going away. I'm in the same boat as you guys. So I need to stock up on peptides too. So at that point, this box is majority of BPC-157 and a little bit of MK-677. So I need to make sure that I have at least enough healing for, I don't know, five, six months tops. Stock is obviously low. So at that point, you, know, you guys can see it. This is what I got. I got BPC-157. For healing, this is the one. Inflammation, this is the one. I mean, you know, at that point, BPC, Lifelies. So the good thing about Lifelies medication is, is that, you know, until you reconstitute it, it, it really does stay as pure as ever, right? So at that point, that's a good thing because if you need to sit on some of these bottles, like I'm going to have to, I want to make sure that, you know, the potency is going to be there and everything's going to be good. So that's a major, major point, right? But, you know, at that point, like I've got all these different boxes of BBC 157, so I'm going to be good. Now, MK677, Ibuto Morton. This is another good one. And uh, I ordered a three month therapy of this. So I have 90 capsules of 25 milligrams, you know, and at that point, this is an oral GHRH peptide. It's a growth hormone releasing hormone peptide. Um, and it does great for IGF-1 levels. It's great for recovery. Um, the only thing about this is you need to be careful if you can't control your hunger or you can't control what food you're gonna be eating because this will make you ravishingly hungry. So at that point, you'll want to eat everything in the house. Even if you just ate five minutes beforehand, once this kicks in, you're gonna be ready to go again. So if there's a whole bunch of ho hos uh, cupcakes, Twinkies, or all that stuff, and you can't control yourself, you're gonna eat all that, and it's gonna create bad weight, right? You don't wanna put bad calories in when you're trying to you know, progress into a better, you know, overall you, right? Whether it's building more lean muscle, losing fat, you know, just feeling a better quality of life. You don't want all those processed foods involved anyway. So do yourself a favor, start eating clean. All right, you'll, you'll help yourself, I promise. So yeah, I just want to show you guys my unboxing. I've got, of course, all my needles and my bacterial static water to reconstitute these things. These things come with your therapies. So at that point, you, you'll be good to go there too as well. And if you don't know how to do your therapies, you can always go back to our videos on our YouTube. Um, go check that out. And if we don't have it up there, there's something you guys have a question about, please let us know. But listen, the point is, stock up on your peptides. If you want them, if you want them in the future, they might not be there for you guys. So at that point, you need to act now. Call or text 727-389-3220 and make sure you say, John said, I need to get my peptides now because they're going away. So I appreciate you guys. And I'll be back with another great video or tip or something that's going to be entertaining for you guys. See you then.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful little wife over here are bringing you guys awesome tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully entice, improve, and ignite your relationship to whole new levels that maybe you haven't been at for a while or you've never even seen before. And listen, if you're single at this point in time, don't worry, you guys can use some of this great information for your future relationship to hopefully set you guys up for success mm -hmm. all the way through and through. At least on your side, you'll be doing your part. And hopefully your partner will be doing the exact same thing and reciprocating back to you. Hopefully. So this week we have a great topic for you guys. And I think every relationship goes to this topic. And Sharice brought this topic to my attention. I think it was a good one to talk about. <laughs> so it is pressure situations for couples how you deal with them makes the difference in everything, right. right? And pressure situations come about in relationships all the time. Every single day you might be dealing with something that's has low pressure or high pressure, right? Yeah. But the high pressure and dealing with those things really does determine how the relationship's gonna go. So, you know, for us, we were talking about, you know, like, a, a big simple one to go off of is money right that's a that's just not a simple one right i mean because think about it if you guys don't have money which is keeping you comfortable right and even if you do have money it could, it could be a total reversal too but when you don't have money you're going to be stressed out, right? Because you're trying to figure out how you're going to make the light bill. How are you going to pay? How are you going to put food on the table? Mm -hmm. How are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? And when you get in situations like that, you tend to take it out on your partner. So instead of you guys working together as a team to accomplish what the problem is and to surpass it, you guys end up utilizing your you know anger and all these other things that are going on and you take it out on each other yeah and that doesn't make it any better yeah. it actually makes it 10 times worse absolutely and when i met john i told them you know I, I told him when i met him i said listen i was like one of the things that my parents sorry mom one of the things that my parents would always argue about in every single argument that they ever had was always about money right. and it was blowout arguments it wasn't like oh i'm sorry no 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 it was like things throwing out of the house. They like all the fun things you hear that happened back in the 90s, right? Yeah. That anyway, <laughs> the stuff you were able to get away with in the 80s and 90s that you can't do now. Right. But anyways, things thrown, all that fun stuff. And, you know, it was big, big fights. So I told John, like, I, that is one thing I don't ever want to fight about. Yeah. I don't ever want to fight about money. Like, if we don't have money, we figure it out. I don't want to fight about it, though. I don't want to argue about where it's going, yeah. who's getting it. I will always want to be straight up about it. Like, if he's going to, you know in relationships a big one too is you know somebody giving money to somebody else without telling your significant other right that's a big deal that's a big deal it is a big deal yeah. right because then you'll find out like oh wait a minute and this is popular so you gave your brother you know five thousand dollars like and now we're short on our bills like do why'd you do that oh well he needed this for that and he they're, they're really hurting well you didn't talk about it with me right. and it becomes a problem Right. So, I mean, this is something big. I mean, it's a big issue that I think a lot of couples either have gone through, will go through, or will go through, right? Unless you are aware of it yeah. and you just don't allow it to happen. Like unchecked spending, right. right? So, I mean, it couldn't just be you're giving somebody money that you might not have or it's going to take you guys a lot to recuperate from. Or it could be spending from shopping, right? Spending money you ain't got. You're making stupid um, you know, mistakes as far as with your money, like whether you're buying drinks for everybody that's out or you're buying dinner for everybody that's out um you're doing things that aren't in your budget you know and that could cause a big issue and rift at home big time um especially if your partner's not on board even if they are on board you know if they're agreeing to it and they know it's wrong ultimately it's not going to affect you guys right that single point but later on down the line where all the bills are due and then you guys are fighting. Well, you do want to do this. You did this. Mm -hmm. uh, well, why did you do this? And why did you spend on this? Well, I told you not to do this. These are going to create unwanted issues with your relationship. And some of these things could be breaking. Financial um, situations with couples break. They do. It's like one of the. It's one of the most. Um, it's one of the most basic things that break up relationships. My parents Excuse got me. divorced over that. Yeah, financial situations with relationships never hardly work, unless both partners get on board about what they want to do. And that's how you guys should yep. be. You guys should be on the same page thinking about things, right? Communication. And it doesn't mean that you can't spend things like go you know, shopping or whatever it is, but you have to set budgets aside for that. 
and then you have like your own little money like oh listen I can spend a hundred dollars on this right. um, and I can I can do this and this is not gonna affect our budget or our plans or our goals and as you're a couple and you're developing as a couple and you're, you're growing together uh, whether you're getting married or you're having kids or whatever it is you want to start leveling up right and that means you know if you're renting an apartment right now you want to try to get a home right and that point you're gonna need some down payment money right you're gonna to have to bring that credit score up you guys are gonna to to be good together so at that point you guys are working towards that goal so set the goal because at that point if you don't set the goals together you guys aren't gonna be on the same page and you guys aren't gonna be working together and when you guys set these goals together keep each other accountable of what that goal is remind yourselves every single day like this is where we want to go and this is what we want to be mm -hmm. this will make you better ultimately as a couple and all the way around financially wise too as mm -hmm. well 100%. Um, high pressure situations though this could be something at work too right you have a high pressure situation at work where you have to meet this deadline you have to come through with this and this could be affecting your home right um, we got you know, we got a, a you know a guest speaker yesterday with Tim Grover coming here. And, yeah, that's cool. On on virtual and, and talking to us about some of these things, and you know when he's talking about pressure situations, this is what makes a difference with, with people. When like, you what decisions you make them, right? when you're going through the pressure situations. Right. That's when I had brought up to the staff because it's good. We've been open for ten years, right? Mm -hmm. well, I brought up to the staff. I'm like, listen, you know, everybody gets to see all the glitz and glamour and all this cool stuff that we've got now, right? But it wasn't like that 10 years ago. You right. know, 10 years ago, me and John, we went through some really hard times right. together, you yeah. know? And, you know, we, we've had our fights. Yeah. This is, we've never not fought. You know, do we get past it? Yeah, we get past it. But, you know, we, we were down and out, you know? I mean, I was in a bad car accident. I lost my job because I couldn't work. You know, then we had to go, I had to go on unemployment. You know, it was just, it was not a good situation. And we had just had Peter. Peter was like two years old. Right. And it was like, okay, what are we gonna do, right? And there was a lot of other moving components components that were bad at the time yeah. that were going against us with the Absolutely. house and this and that so it was all at one time and when you're under that much stress and that much pressure it's it's one of those what do you do when your back's against the wall right right yeah. you do do what are you gonna do are you gonna yeah. are you gonna sit and crumble and cry about it yeah. or are you gonna get up surpass it and go figure out a solution, yeah. right? Because you can complain all day long. Boo hoo. Right. Yeah, everybody has a boo hoo story. Everybody has a <laughs> boo hoo this. I know everybody's got a boo hoo book bag, but I'm telling you, you could boo hoo all day. It doesn't give you the solution that you're looking for. Right. And you don't want to take it on your partner. The whole point is that me and him, we worked as a team to get to where we were trying to go, you know, and figure out, okay, so what are we going to do to pay the bills? Right. What, what, what do you got up your sleeve, John? Because I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> so we went through our hard times, but, you know, it made me think, too, like, you know, wow. I mean, it was pretty stressful in those time frames, you Absolutely. know? I mean, so stressful, you may, like, you might have just wanted to go to bed. Didn't even want to, you know, get down that night because you're so stressed. You're tired. You're exhausted it's mentally, tough. emotionally, physically. You yeah. know, it's in that situation you're gonna have to pick and choose your days on who's gonna pick up who that day because yep. both of you guys can't be down right. because if one both of you guys are down neither one of you guys can pick each other up that's right so one of you guys got to stand up yep. one of you guys yep. and then maybe the next day the person the other person can sit down and then the next person stands up but that's called teamwork right and if, if you're having to pick your partner up that's fine but if it comes to a point where you're picking them up every single day, it's time for them to get that kick in the butt. Yeah, kick. Because they need to get up. Get up. And when you guys are both up and working together, that's when all the success comes. It you know, you can get by, you know, some days here or there, like let's say she's down, I pick her up, or I'm down, she picks me up. That's fine for a day, and you can get past that. Mm -hmm. But ultimately to be successful, you guys both gotta get up and motivate each other to be better in everything you guys are doing out there. Uh, and to get past the situation or scenario. I mean, even for us, right, at that point in time, that's when we started tightening. And that's not when pressure just let off. <laughs> that actually increased more pressure. <laughs> like, hey, listen, this is either do or die. We're either going to do this or we don't really have a game plan of what it's going to be. And it's going to be an ultimate fail. Mm -hmm. and there's going to be some negative consequences that are going to be coming along with this. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure you're giving maximum effort. And you got to make sure that, listen, nothing is guaranteed in life. But you got to make it so it's an educated decision where you've, like, basically looked at everything that's around you and like this is the best possible it's a calculated scenario. calculated decision you're making. It is a calculated decision. So at that point, you guys are making you know the best decision you possibly can with the information that you have. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really where it's at. I mean, being together as a couple, getting past these pressure situations, and at that point, it will make you guys ultimately better all the way around through and through. 100%. Yeah. Communicate, communicate, and both of you guys being negative at the same time never works. 
So it, it, there's got to be a balance somewhere in there. The yin and yang. Me and John have always been, you know, we're the unstoppable. I will say we're the unstoppable yeah. team, you know, because we are the yin and yang of each other. You know, me and him are polar opposites, but we're really actually the same. I know that sounds so weird, right? Yeah, right? But it's really weird. We are. We're totally opposite, but not really. So, you know, we make a good, a good little match, you know. So, you know, with your person out there, whoever you're with, you know, see where you guys fit in together, where it fits like this, you know, and then make it work and move forward. Yeah, and it was a, it was a good example we heard from Tim Grover yesterday. Like you know diamonds, everybody likes diamonds, but how yeah, are diamonds created? Through pressure. Yep. Right? Pressure. That's that's how it happens. So, yeah. You know, a lot of magic happens with pressure situations and how you get past those situations together, and that's when true success really comes. Um, don't let it break you guys. That, that's another thing. It's really easy to quit. Mm -hmm. right? It's really easy to say, oh, I just can't do this no more. You know. I'm gonna I'm go. Done. I'm gonna go find a sugar daddy. I'm bye. done. Right. You know, like, this is just not gonna work for me. <laughs> And it doesn't have to be, just like you said, financial. It could be any high-pressure situation. Right. It's just the most common one is financial for couples out there. Yeah. So get past it. Um, set goals for each other. And make sure you guys are setting yourself accountable for each other, too, as well. And make sure you guys are hitting those goals. So that's the biggest thing I can say to anybody out there. You got to write them down. Write them down. Don't just say them. Write them down. Talk about it. Right? Throw it out there to the universe and hopefully to bring it back to you. What's that but, called again? But don't wait on it. What's it called? I, I, the thing, I, the magic thing. Yeah, I know. It's like uh, they did a documentary. Come on. I, I can't remember what manifestation. It is. Yeah, manifesting. Yeah, that's what manifestation. It is. So you're, you're manifesting. I am yeah. manifesting. But you're not waiting on it to come to you, right? A you're million to dollars to be on my front doorstep yeah. tomorrow. Man, that'd be awesome. Boom. There it is. I wish I could hear psych. the One point five psych. billion or something like that. Yeah, manifest means get up and go get it. Yeah, go up <laughs> and get it, right? And uh, <laughs> set the steps that you guys need to do to get there, too. It's not just setting that goal like, I'm going to get this. Like, what are you going to do to get to it, right? A, B, C, D, and E. All the way up the, the ladder. So you guys are making sure you guys are hitting one step at a time, and you guys are on the way to that goal, right? Progressing. So... I hope this has helped you guys out. I hope you guys get past your high pressure situations. Um, there's a lot of them out there, especially right now in these times we're in. Mm -hmm. So at that point, don't worry. And, and don't think that you know people down the street might not have been in the scenario that you're in. Me and Sharice have been in the scenario a lot of people have been in. Been so there. at that point, we're talking from experience, guys. We love you guys. Every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC, me and Sharice will be here talking about the, the great things that we can to help you guys out with relationships. And don't worry, guys. <laughs> If you guys didn't get to watch us live, that's our bell because we're past time. Gotta so. go back to work. But <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. And come check us out every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m., right? And if you guys didn't get to watch it live, DVR it. And if you missed that too, don't worry. Just go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, you get to see this show and a lot of other cool content that we have for you guys. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.